as many students are asking me what is the difference between the two video courses i offer i am creating this video so here i am going to explain you the difference between progate and suregate so in progate we have video lectures scheduled test series descriptive questions and assignments and of course in suregate also you have the same but the way they are executed are different especially descriptive questions and assignments are executed differently we will see let me begin with video lectures so we have video lectures in progate and suregate and you know why i have created video lectures to simplify the things and to teach you very difficult concepts in a easy way okay you know that so if you go through my all video lectures 80% of the gate questions you can answer without anyone's help fine so the remaining problem is solving the 20% uh, other problems correct for that you know we will be giving all these things let me begin with schedule so why schedule sir as a student you are a great procrastinator you always postpone the things correct to study today then you say i'll study tomorrow otherwise day after tomorrow you keep postponing so to avoid that what we did is like we give a schedule so what you have to do is whatever you do doesn't matter on particular day whatever the concept we ask you to read or watch you have to do it and you know there will be a test for each topic immediately after you prepare example on particular date x y z i say that you know you have to write the exam then you have to do it and if you don't write then you know then you have to uh, it is like i am reminding you that you know you are wasting the time or you are procrastinating you are postponing okay so remember it second thing skate test series so why we uh, give test series in june month i will tell you many students write test series in november month otherwise december month the difference is in november month or december month if you write a test and you realize that your performance is not up to the mark what can you do can you change it no because it's too late so to avoid that we are giving test series in june month example let's say you are preparing a proposition logic topic and you are writing an exam maybe in june or july then if you uh, realize that you know your preparation is not up to the mark what can you do you can change now you have a time correct this is the right time to change your uh, like preparation like you uh, you want to improve then you can do it maybe you can read some textbooks or you can watch the lecture again and again correct but that things you cannot do in november you remember that's why so test series we started in june month now so test series has a schedule what you do is you blindly follow the schedule and try to write the test and try to get into top 10 so that gives you confidence and also uh, tells you that the test series that you are you know you, this is where you stand based on that you take the decisions right now descriptive questions and assignments why you require descriptive questions and assignments i'll tell you generally you are preparing online correct this is the model itself is online i don't know where you stay and how you prepare and i don't know that you know you say that you know sir i am watching your lecture but i don't know how exactly how much you are following correct so to understand what you are following then i will be giving some descriptive questions for each topic then you try to answer the descriptive questions while answering it then i realize that your preparation is good how sir example let's say when you are preparing dfa like uh, through lectures then i ask you this question in descriptive questions there is a state x and the alphabet is a comma b then should i write transition function on each and every input symbol is a question that means x and a x and b the transition is defined is it compulsory then immediately what you do then maybe you know uh, while watching the lecture you might have uh, overlooked it correct then you will go back to the lecture and you when you try to answer it so that is uh, your passive learning becomes an active learning correct second thing if any important point if you have forgotten then you know this will remind you that's an idea okay second thing assignments so there are two types of assignments programming and non programming especially in data structures algorithms and in operating system i give you programming assignments i might ask you to implement avl tree or heap tree i might ask you to implement some process scheduling algorithm and i also give the code then you can check your code with this okay and in suregate this descriptive questions and your assignments are evaluated there will be mentors they will see your answers and they will correct you example let's say if you write an answer for a descriptive questions and if that is wrong then someone is going to help you in answering in correct way they will put remarks hey student you did not answer it correctly this is a mistake so in that way they want to change your fundamentals okay now in progate this descriptive questions and assignments are not evaluated that is the difference if you want us to evaluate your assignments and descriptive questions switch from progate to suregate that's simple 
now sir uh, what is the major idea about this descriptive questions what else we, you will give in descriptive questions i will ask you to prove some of the mathematical statements like example let's say 0 star 1 star whole star equal to 0 plus 1 whole star i always wonder many students know that you know 0 star 1 star whole star equal 0 plus 1 whole star but they don't know the proof and they simply remember it i don't want i don't like this kind of preparation because this kind of preparation uh, makes you a mediocre student okay because of that if you go to iits for interviews outright you will be rejected because you know you have not really done significant uh, like you have not really done uh, a good preparation you did not know how to prove some of the easy things like you know this thing this kind of set theory constructs and also i i might ask you to convert uh, epsilon nfa to dfa of course you know that there is a conversion then happily you will do that maybe through subset construction then i ask a second question can you prove it that this epsilon nfa is equivalent to dfa when you do that then that is going to be your real and true preparation then that gives you two important things for you one is the confidence will be improved this is next level of preparation because of that no matter what who gets what rank uh, whoever gets whatever the rank but you are going to get definitely a very good rank that is guaranteed okay second thing if you go to interviews like if your rank is around 500 or 600 and if you go to interviews with this kind of preparation most probably you will be selected that's an ultimate idea behind this descriptive questions and assignments and when you write assignment uh, like you know if you write a programming assignment if you complete it then that gives confidence about you know operator systems uh, how they work and you know if i give you computer networks assignment then you know that gives you great clarity about the concepts you learn in videos and all so that's why i believe that you know this is going to be the right preparation and in sure get and pro get the difference is these assignments and you know descriptive questions are evaluated in sure get and not evaluated in pro get based on your requirement decide which course you want okay